It's probably a good thing my last video didn't record the audio version of the portion of trying to explain my problem here because I was really upset in it. I'm going to try to calm down. If I use any profanity, please forgive me because I'm really kind of pissed off about this. This is my second simple problem with Final Cut. I think it's a very simple problem. I'm not an engineer. I'm not a developer. I'm none of those things, okay? But, you know, based on the history of Apple and the excellence that you've given to people like myself in this um, uh, industry of creativity, all right, visual, visual or audible, you have done exceptional things since the late 80s, early 90s for me, and I'm totally grateful for it. But what really pisses me off is Final Cut Pro X. I mean, I'm, I cannot believe you guys would put out a software that is so ridiculous like Final Cut Pro X. I would have preferred you guys charge six, seven, eight hundred bucks for it and it work correctly. Even the simplest things like this one I've got a problem right now. Transitions, all right? I'm sitting up here with this video that I'm trying to edit for a friend of mine. And I'm just doing basic things that I could do probably uh, with a very simple software, even softwares like iMovie, right? Look at this, all right? I'm doing these transitions within my software. Now, what I want to do is I want to grab this and drop this on the timeline. When I drop it on there, look what happens. There's not enough extra memory uh, media beyond uh, clip edges to create the transition. Well, there is, okay? I have five seconds on every clip. All I need is three to have a, a, a suitable transition, right? I got five, at least five, and some of them are almost a minute long, okay? This should not be happening. This shouldn't be happening. This is a basic thing. Why is this happening? Now, I go to the news groups to find out, well, maybe I'm not doing something properly. I go to the news groups, you know, check it out. I look at these, uh, these groups uh, on Apple support community since 2013 and 14. People have been trying to you know, <clears throat> trying to figure this particular problem out. People have had workarounds around it. One person gave me an idea which actually worked for two of my transitions, these two here that I'm pointing at with my arrow. But then after a certain point, that stopped working, okay? I will tell you the workaround that somebody else said. They said you grab this uh, bloom thing, right? Uh, bloom fire, what have you, and you put it on any transition. It doesn't even matter. And then press create. And then it automatically puts those in there. Then what you do is you take those out, okay? And then apparently you grab one of these and you drop it on there. Then it sees it properly. As you can tell, it's looking at it. And then it drops it in there. And then that seems to work, okay? Why do we have to deal with this? That's not what I want to do, okay? Because I don't want transitions floating around the whole, the whole thing. So I pull that out. I grab my transition tool. I, I lay it over here. Look, nothing, absolutely nothing. I have to go through this process. Why can't I just drag that and put it on there like I did in previous versions of Final Cut Pro? I'm so upset about this, I can't even understand. I can't even believe it. You guys are dropping the ball so badly that I don't even, you know, it's, like, it's almost like you guys don't even care anymore. And how is that possible? How is that possible? How is that possible? I wish one of you guys would just give me a call. Somebody that runs shit there, give me a call and explain this to me so that I can... Be sorry that I made this video and explain to everybody and say, look, you know what? I made a mistake. These guys are really, really got our back. Pros, we got our back. They got our back. They really want to help us out. And I'd be able to explain that out. But it seems to me that you guys are not even concerned with that, you know? And I'm pissed off about it. So if anybody has, like, not a fucking workaround, although I'll take those two, but how, what solves this problem? How does this problem get solved? I mean, when iMovie works... With stuff basically like this, that's so basic, works better than Final Cut, you guys are f dropping the ball. Fucking dropping the ball is what I really want to say. Okay, I'm finished with this, man. You guys are just, man, I tell you, I'm like on a fucking island, and you guys, you guys suck, man. I mean, you guys used to be my buddies, and now you...